Hi, my name is Claire Jemskill and welcome to the second part of the Night of the Candy Monsters quest. You have already completed the first part where you have won some adult Halloween costumes. In this part, we have a chance to win an adorable astronaut costume for our toddler sims. So the first thing we need to do is to form a party plan. Scaring the purple monsters is working and your sim is one step closer to making the Halloween party happen. It's time to start planning for it. Have a sim form a party plan with another sim. So with one sim selected, click on another sim. We will use our adult sims dressed up in their Halloween party outfits from last time. Click on our other sim and form a party plan top right for five minutes. There we go, so our sims have formed a party plan. Now we need to send Halloween invitations. First things first, you'll need to send out invitations so that others can prepare in time. Have a sim send out Halloween invitations from a computer. So let's click on the computer and send out Halloween invitations. That's 14 minutes. This is a two star computer. You can do that probably quicker with a three star. There we go, we have sent out the Halloween invitations. Now we need to ask Misty for advice. Invitations are sent, but your guests are worried there won't be enough costumes to go around. There must be better ways to scare candy out of the monsters. Ask Misty for advice. So Misty will be in your house, she'll have an exclamation mark above her hair. So go ahead and click on her and ask for advice for seven hours and 30 minutes. That's a lot of advice that we need. We have finished asking Misty for advice, now we need to practice scaring. Misty shows your sims a spectacular new scaring technique and suggests continuing to level up your scare, sk scare skill by practicing on another sim. Have a sim practice scaring another sim, so like we did in the first part of the quest, just get one of your sims and click on another sim and practice scaring, this takes one second, so we creep up behind them, make them jump <laughs> and then giggle about it to themselves. There we go, Taz complete, practice scaring. Now we need to show off our scaring skill. Misty's scare techniques really worked. Your sims have been scaring each other silly. Have a sim show off their scaring skill to Misty. So if we click on Misty, where's she gone? Here she is. Click on her and show off skill for 7 hours and 30 minutes. We've finished showing off our scaring skill to Misty. Now we need to scare the orange candy monster. Misty is so impressed by your sim's scare skill, she shrieks and fades away. Your sim sees an orange monster nearby. <laughs> Shouldn't be a challenge after scaring Misty. Have a sim try to scare the orange monster. So you should have an orange monster just come over to your lot. Go ahead and click on the orange candy monster and scare for one second. Here he comes. Oh, I don't think that worked. I don't think we scared the orange candy monster. They don't look like they were scared. <laughs> Task completed. Pout on a seat. The orange monster laughs at your sim. You want to scare me? Impossible. It laughs again before disappearing. How disappointing. Have a sim pout on a seat. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on a sofa. This is a three star sofa and pout for seven hours and 30 minutes. Okay, we have finished pouting on a seat. Now we need to ask Misty what happened. Your sim uncrosses their arms and looks up as Misty reappears. She looks shaken. Was she scared by the orange monster? Have a sim ask her what happened. Let's go and say, ask what happened for 25 minutes. Task complete. We've asked Misty what happens. Now we need to collect candy pieces. Misty says the orange monster collects the costumes to become the scariest monster ever and the purple monsters are helping. Your sim must thwart the evil plan. Have a sim find purple monsters and scare more candies out of them to trade for more costumes. This time we need 30 candies. So like before, just click on all the purple monsters you can see and collect candy for 4 hours and 30. So bring over as many sims as you have purple monsters. So collect candy for hours 30, collect candy for 30. Collect candy for 30. Let's bring over someone else. Is there another? Okay, this place is too crowded now, so we can't have anyone else here. But like I said, get as many sims as you can collecting candy from the purple monsters to speed this process up. So we collected four candy pieces there. Four candy pieces there. Four seems to be the number that we get. 
Four there, four there. Let's continue collecting more. Four hours, 30 minutes. Just get all our sims to continue doing this. There we go, we have been collecting more candy. We've finally got 30, so congratulations. Your toddler sims can pretend they're astronauts any time of year with this costume set. We have won the costume set for toddlers. We'll take a look at those in a second. The next part of the quest that we'll move on to is the set of gold that will earn us a wild uni unicorn and lion costume for our tween sims. The new outfit that we've won with this part is the toddler astronaut costumes and these are the same for boys and girls. We get this white one here and we also get this orange one. Both pretty cute, they're really quite nice. Let's put this sim in it. So here you go, you can see the two sims. One is a boy and one is a girl toddler dressed in their little toddler outfits there. Thank you for watching this video. That completes the second part of the Night of the Candy Monsters quest. Join me soon for part three where we will win some more costumes for our sims. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!